We have JCS Reacts, which I said we were going to do. Which I haven't done yet. New JCS. New JCS, folks. Donald Trump brought back JCS in a big way. Brought back JCS Reacts, folks. Murder is back on the menu. And then afterwards, we're going to do OK Buddy Review, folks. Meme Review. Do both of them. Nine one one. What is the location of your emergency? Four seven four eight France Court. Dogs. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Leaked. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. Fire risk. Tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and I put him in his case when we were playing, like kind of hide and seek kind of what? thing. What? So. I fell asleep, and I woke up, and he was dead in the suitcase, so I don't know what happened. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. He was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Right, is he breathing? No. I need you to get him on the floor, flatten his back for I me, did. okay? I did, I did. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. He's purple. But, okay, listen to me. Lay him flat on his Okay, ma'am, 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 ma listen to me. I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. Okay, man, that's fine. We're still going to do compressions on him, okay? Place the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the chest. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. If I look at him, you can tell. Okay. Ah! And? Please! Okay, he just gurgled. Okay, listen to me. Place the heel of your hand right between his chest, right between his breastbones. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Yes, we want. This is fucking insane. What is the suitcase game? Like... We want to pump his chest to me hard and fast, twice per second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Who for now? Oh, right there. It was hide and seek. This is 42-year-old Sarah Boone, who you just heard on the 911 call a few seconds ago. Her boyfriend was 42-year-old George Torres Jr., who she locked inside a suitcase the night before, ultimately leading to him dying of suffocation. Sarah's explanation is that it was a totally unintentional and unforeseen accident, but what she's completely unaware of at this particular moment is the fact she recorded two videos on her phone last night, the first of which was taken at 11.12 p.m. and shows her laughing at George while he's zipped up in the suitcase. But George isn't laughing. He's asking to be let out and repeatedly stating that he can't breathe. The second video was recorded 11 minutes later showing the same thing, except the suitcase was flipped over and in a different area of the apartment. Sarah is both unmistakably and heavily intoxicated in these videos, which what? may explain the fact she didn't delete them. It would be safe to assume that she has no idea the videos exist. And yes, you will see the moment she becomes aware of their existence. But we first have to acknowledge how this episode was even possible, and that would be the Law and Crime Network. They sent us the uncompressed documents that comprise this video, and almost every case we have covered, or will cover, is already available in its raw form on this channel, which includes the two main items of public record in the case of Sarah Boone, starting with the body cam footage which is right where we left off. Hello there. Hi. It's a collab. The unmistakable lack of emotion in the face of a woman who has just now encountered a deceased loved one is alarming. What you are seeing here is a textbook narcissistic sociopath. We decided to play hide and seek, right? Okay. So he gets in the suitcase, okay? Who is this guy? That's my ex-husband, my former husband. How did he, he live here with you guys? No, I called him over here. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called 
you guys. All we had was a bottle of wine. Literally, just a bottle of wine. Okay. Doing puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's all that happened. Okay, okay. Here, let me fill this deputy in, okay? Please, may I have my Dr. Pepper? I am oh, no, so cut mouth right now. It's on the counter. I can't move yes, anything from out of the house. Here, I want you to sit down because I don't want you passing out. This is probably a lot for you to deal with, I need right? I can get you some water, okay? The officer then talks to Sarah's ex-husband. Uh, Why is the ex-husband there? Out, Wait, what? Supposed to be her day. He referred to the fact that Sarah was meant to have custody of their son today. She's generally not very good about always doing it. She they called back and said she was still there, or she came back. Um, so I was calling to find out if she called them. Today. I'm cool. Yes. Okay. Got over here, told her she. I had to go grab snackies. Get somebody over here, and then uh, basically she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. But um, I called her. Give me one second, okay? He's currently on parole because of it, so... Um, because of domestic violence with her? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. He explains that George has been arrested for domestic violence multiple times against Sarah, and that Sarah's literally bailed him out every time. I don't know what it is. Oh, she's getting water from the tap. She's probably going to pass out on us. Okay, well, listen. The police officer asks the ex-husband to stick around for a little while longer. She then gets a notepad and returns to Sarah to collect more information. At some point, you put him in the suitcase? No, he got in the suitcase. So okay. he thought it'd be funny to be put in the suitcase. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to joke with you and I'll zip you up and make him, you know, squirm a little bit, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Where was the suitcase? Right where it is. In it. Right down there? Yes. You zipped him in there? Yes. Thought he would be funny a little bit. It drunk. was. We both were laughing about it. Okay. And then I fell asleep. Where did you fall asleep at? Upstairs. I just totally so forgot. So you began to do CPR on him? Yes. From yes. About and what gurgled. time this morning did you gurgled. start doing that CPR? No, it was the afternoon. And it, like, air was coming out and he was gurgling, but mm -hmm. I could just tell by looking at him. But you knew how to do CPR? You were doing that on your own? Yes. Okay. I want you to sit back down because I don't want Can you... I have one more sip of water, please? Yeah. Go, go. Can I have a cigarette, please? Ma'am, I can't take anything out of the house. It's on the back porch. Nope, all of it. It's secure, okay? The officer then confirms the ex-husband will be taking custody of the child. And your child is in school right now. He's not here with you. No, 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 no. He's okay. in school. Okay, he's in school. What, how old is he? This will be a fun thing to explain. He is not. This will be a fun <laughs> thing to explain <laughs> to him? What the fuck? With how you would explain something like this. <laughs> Why are they laughing? The ex-husband leaves, and the officers wait for investigators to arrive. Not right now. We can't have you go and get anything. Why don't you sit in the shade? The investigators then arrive. Hey, Sarah. Did you get enough water? Yes. Uh, no, if you want to stay seated, don't. I don't want you getting lightheaded. So remember, Brother, I know it's sarcasm. Are you crazy? Like, you think I took that literally? I'm saying, like, it's an insane situation to be joking about. There's a dead guy. Like, chatters were like, wow, I can't do, wow, he didn't understand that that was sarcasm. Like, I know his sarcasm is still fucking weird, dog. It's also additionally strange that she's, like, more worried about a cigarette or a fucking Dr. Pepper that she wants to drink when there's a dead person inside of the house. I said the detectives were going to come out and talk to you and go from there. They're here. They're going to ask you a few questions and then go from there, okay? okay. All, right. All right. A dead guy who abuses ex-wife? Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate it when motherfuckers watch the video ahead of time. And now they're here and it's time to defend. It's time to defend a woman who fucking... Who literally left a dude inside of a suitcase, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Get it out. Get out all of the fucking... It's not the spoiler. It's the fact that... It's not the spoiler. I know. It, it was mentioned originally. Okay, I got it. It was mentioned originally when I was getting snacks. I got that part. That's not what I'm upset about, chatters. I'm upset about the fact that this woman murdered a dude and you motherfuckers are there to justify it. Okay. Love that. Love that. Thanks, guys. All right, sir. My name's Chelsea. My partner, Scott. They ask Sarah what happened. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was laughing about it too. Mm -hmm. 
to dip him up in there. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs and fell asleep. Um. I don't know what happened. Okay. After you zipped him up, did you move the bag around and mess with him at all, or you just zipped it up and walked away? And I both were laughing about it, but I went upstairs and I fell asleep. Okay. I'm afraid for my life. I want you to know that. I am afraid that? for my life. His family has never liked me. Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughters yesterday. No, I mean, like, about this. Does no. anyone know? Okay. So They're going to kill me. Okay, well. Do they live local? Yes. They're down the road. They're going to kill me. The detectives reassure Sarah that she's not about to get murdered and then go in to investigate the apartment. Just stay seated, okay, Sarah? I know you're panicking, okay? Just relax. We'll come and talk to you. We'll keep checking on you. This police officer was brilliant. Her temperament was perfect for the situation. The investigators simply asked Sarah to stay somewhere else for the night and to come to the police station the following day with any questions she might have. Sarah stayed with her ex-husband, then showed up at the sheriff's office the next day at 3.51 p.m. with an entire handwritten page of questions, the first of which was about when she's getting back her phone. I'm going to have you sit in the green chair it doesn't move. Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. Sarah takes out her page of questions, which the investigator semi-acknowledges then brushes off. Um, so obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So I'm going to read you your rights again because I, we have to talk about that. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. And do you understand what I just read you? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Sarah has no idea what just happened. This morning we went to his autopsy. Um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has um, by the doctor. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Um, he had um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. Forensics have since proven that George sustained his injuries the night he died, and he didn't have them before entering the apartment. I <coughs> Also, too, I, he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall or okay. the hall tree. So okay. I. Okay. The investigator details further injuries, including a contusion on his neck. And they're all recent. Like, they. they I'll just be like, yeah, uh, the classic ran into a wall defense. I'll just be like, yeah, he clearly was running into walls. I, where have I heard that one before? Hmm. They, they occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was... In all case. honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. I have no idea what it is. No okay. idea what it is. We had a good time mm -hmm. sitting on the back porch having wine and smoking a couple of cigarettes and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles, and play. Mm -hmm. And listen to music. That's why. I she had all night to set this up, which is the issue. For all we know, she could have designed this entire scene of events from scratch. There is a 12-hour gap between the timestamp on her videos to the moment police showed up on her doorstep, which is plenty of time to assemble what looks like a very pleasant scene of events that in no way precipitated a drunken act of revenge that ultimately led to murder. Nobody got out of sorts. This, this is what's mind-blowing to me. Like, I don't... Okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. He also had, um, like on the left side of his forehead, he had basically bruising, um, and um, on like his head and his skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not for touched him. Trauma. I have <clears throat> not touched him. I have not touched him. Interesting. I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. We've had good days lately. It's been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> the interrogator now brings up Sarah's last call to police, reporting domestic violence. Yeah, you said a month ago he hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <laughs> she just referred to the fact that George didn't face charges for the alleged assault. Like, we've been good. I don't know if, like, it's since the last time he got out of jail. Like, we've been good, and he's been having his classes. What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation mean, officer? No, no, you said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of good? I've been good. I don't yeah. think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. 
So it's either I flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I flee, I go over there. So. Sarah is detailing possible motives for retaliation. Routine procedure would be to keep her train of thought locked on this element, provide encouragement and understanding while inquiring further into the suspect's grievances with the victim. The only problem is that the lead interrogator, really, 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 really doesn't like Sarah and abandons the task of pretending to, which makes this a significantly flawed, uh -huh. yet remarkably entertaining uh -huh. process to bear witness. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago, so give or take. Right. The investigator challenges an earlier assertion which remodels the discourse, and the suspect then starts defending her relationship with the Pro tip, if you're abusing your significant other, do not let them lock you in a suitcase. That's a good pro tip to remember for all the domestic abusers in the chat. Victim. I really love him. Like I do. And I feel like I can help him. He came a really long way. And he was trying. He was really trying. She somehow transitions into the principle of how she doesn't normally drink. And it's kind of only because of George that she drinks at all. The occasional wine, whatever, or if it's a weekend. That's when you, you have a good time. You don't have to wake up the next day. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I can do 50 things at once and still know the 50 things more previously, prior than I need to get done. He can't process like that. What the he fuck? Like Nick, that. So the next thing don't you know, note that, Nick. What the hell? Isn't it Melita's birthday today? What are you doing? He doesn't want to deal with it. I'm going to go get something to drink. Nobody knew George better than I did. I say that I knew George better than himself. And I tried in every way, shape, and form. Ask everyone. Let's be real. Melina could murder Nick uh, with ease without having to put him in a fucking suitcase, okay? I helped him. I took care of him. Sarah talks about George's anger management classes and <laughs> yep. the supposed progress he was making. And would always come home and show me his papers. And we would look over his papers together. Where it's like, wow, you actually are learning this in class? And some of the stuff that they would show them, like videos, he would come home and be like, Sarah, I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. He changed. And that's why you're still with him. Even though he's done all these things to you. And When I tell you I love him, I love him. When you love somebody, you have limits. Everybody tells me that. Yeah, I'm sure a fucking detective in whatever police department they're in right now is going to be the most understanding of, like, how to deal with a domestic violence victim as well. Remember, she could be a domestic violence uh, victim and still be a murderer, okay? At some point, somebody gets enough. In the next moment, the detective will say, then they have to do something to defend themselves. Sarah's temperament will completely switch at the completion of this sentence. Then they have to, to do something to defend themselves. I would just flee. And I don't know if you would like to see on my phone, or I think, it's, I think it's actually on a laptop. She explains how she once filed a restraining order against George, then for some reason brings up his ex-wife. When I say a monster, she's a monster. Like it does, she... The interrogator lets her vent about the ex-wife for two minutes. What? She will now bring the focus back to the investigation. Um, since talking yesterday, do you remember any, like, time timelines better? Like, what time uh, you guys were playing? What time you, he was zipped up in the luggage? What time you I went told upstairs? You we started because we had we cleaned the house a little bit, did some laundry. She recalls the game starting at around 4 p.m. and her going to sleep at around midnight. So I have four and I have midnight, so there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, if you recall when you went upstairs to hide in the shower or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Well, we went inside probably about, if I had to guess, we weren't, we weren't out there too long. Um, worked on the puzzle again, finished it, started to paint, well, started to listen to music for a little bit, started to paint, uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Started to talk, paint, whatever. I don't want to paint anymore, let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. I can't, like, this is the most, this is the most unbelievable part about this entire story, is that, like, two 
grown ass adults decided to play hide and seek. It's just like, I, I get that it would be a significantly more believable story if she was like, this dude assaulted me multiple times. And the last time I, you know, I cooked up a plan and I wanted to fucking kill him. Okay. Like I cooked up a fucking plan and decided this is how I'm going to murder him in defense. It was yet another night where he was assaulting me or whatever the fuck. The idea, the, the, the fact that like, the fact that they were like, yeah, we're going to play hide and seek in an apartment. First of all, you put him in the suitcase. That's the worst game of hide and seek of all time. How do you hide and seek when he, you put him in the fucking suitcase? You know where he is. He's in the suitcase. Okay, there you go. Found him. Like, that doesn't even make sense. I mean, maybe I'm being real stupid about this, but like, he put himself in the suitcase. No, he didn't. You can't do that. You can't put yourself in a fucking suitcase, dog. That's not how this works. Okay? Like, how? That was zipped himself up? Like, what are you, crazy? It was like a, like a suffocation suitcase. It was so fucking tiny that, like, he was literally... How did he fit in the suitcase is another question. I have so many questions right now. Like... Honestly, if it's me, if I'm the detective in this situation, I'm just like, explain everything. Like, how did a, like a big ass dude, like a normal size adult dude, like actually fit into a suitcase? Why are you a whole ass adult trying to do uh, hide and seek? How do you play hide and seek when you know where the fucking dude hid? You know what I mean? Like, that's not hide and seek. That's just, you know where he hid. At the top of the hour, is there a three-minute ad break? How do I avoid the ads? Well, guess what? I have an answer for that one. Uh, you can subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Yeah. You can subscribe or you can get gifted a sub if you're lucky. You know what I mean? Sir Blitzens, thank you for the five. Get the subs allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Here's a three-minute ad break now. Um, it's a married sex game, my man. Hope you are ready for it one day. First of all, no, I don't want to do a sex game where I fucking die at the end of it because I hid into a suitcase. And secondly, I'm six foot four. What? How do you, if I'm ever fitting in a suitcase, I'm already dead because they chopped me up and put half of my body in a suitcase. Okay. Understand? So it's like, okay, we know. Okay, take off. That's not how you play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. The suitcase originally <laughs> is in. Our okay, I'm glad that the detectives are asking the important questions. I shouldn't have paused, but that does make sense. Our closet buried all the way to the back. If you, I don't, I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore and I'm tired of looking at them. So he took it upon himself, including that suitcase, to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations and everything, and just leave the whole thing by the clothing and shoe thing at my son's school. No, we're just, I'm just asking, what? out of the, in the past, like, have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not, but obviously no. I understand, you know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter, you were laughing, yes. he was laughing, but what I'm just asking is in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so, do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover... Anything, any photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? <coughs> no. Um, I think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. Um, okay, so fair. I, have I do that too I sometimes. That we found, um, and oh, she's already alting. Phone. What the fuck? The detective is 
Bro, 30 minutes in? That's like unceremonious, okay? That's so early. The alt is so early, dude. You didn't even fucking like... That's crazy. Yeah. You could tell that the detective did not want to spend any time with this person any longer and alted super early. With regard to the colossal realm of interrogation footage, the level of notoriety these next moments acquired is virtually unprecedented. I feel like this picture belongs on a wall somewhere. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? If you need to move it around, go ahead. <laughs> No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. Yeah. For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Shut it down. Oh. Okay. Let me. Sarah may have been hoping that that was the end of it. Really can't say that I blame her for that. <laughs> it does sound like AI, doesn't it? But it says the voiceover was done by Kazume here. But it does sound like it's AI. Zume is AI? What do you mean? That's a real person, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? His voice has changed a bit over the years. Another channel said that the laptop dying was a strategy to give her time to come clean since they have the evidence. What's your take on the pink shirt? Uh... It's hypothetically an investigate. On the last video, they use something similar to AI that clips apart things. I've said in the past, it's only temporary. I can't go into why or anything, but I'm still working with them. Wait, what? If hypothetically an investigate investigatory type channel was using an AI clone of your voice or the latest video, would that be something you'd allow willingly or would it be more of a situation you weren't okay with? Or is this just some misconception altogether? On this last video... They use something similar to AI that clips apart things I've said in the past. It's only temporary. I can't go into why or anything, but I'm still working with them. That's odd. I, I do like Kazume's uh, voice. And I, do, I can tell that this is like AI. And I think that his tone, his inflections, his rhetoric is actually better. Um, so, you know... I hope that is uh I hope that they figure out what's going on. Parasocial? No, I mean this is content that I love, you know what I mean? Is it long? Because I don't know how much I can take. Mm-mm. No. I don't know how much I can take. I don't know how to find your Do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. You can either explain it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. <coughs> it's that long? Two minutes. No. For everything you've done to me. For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. Oh, it's a rap. Oh, it's a rap. Okay. Dude, that's great. Okay. Well, that's the ticket right there. She said, for everything you've done to me, fuck you. It's GG's. It's over. It's a wrap. Yeah, it doesn't seem like hide and seek. Bro, she literally fucking filmed it. She filmed it and was like, basically, she said, I'm doing a murder right now. Uh, I would like the record to show that I'm doing a murder right now because I hate this person. And I, w I'm, I hope that this person suffocates inside of the suitcase. This is my motive for, for law enforcement officers in the future that fucking find this video on my phone that I somehow forgot. It's, yeah, we're, we're not playing hide and seek. We are playing hide and murder. I don't want to watch it, please. Okay. That's him saying that he can't breathe. 
And you're saying fuck So you. this is upside down. The interrogators should not be cutting each other off, but their missteps can be forgiven on this occasion due to the power of the evidence. Yeah, I mean, they already locked them. It's over. Like, uh, I, do you even need a fucking confession at that point? It's Lead over. The detective will now focus on. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down. This is killing you right now? No, you know what would be killing you right now? If you fucking were stuffed inside of a suitcase after possibly being, being bludgeoned and then uh, the detectives rolled the suitcase over and filmed you saying, <laughs> saying that you're <laughs> saying, fuck you. That's probably what would kill you. And then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional alone. No, you told me you went. Bro, what the fuck? She said, it's unintentionally I fell asleep. It, like, it's over. You flipped it. You filmed it. It's done. What the fuck? Please new cost score. Thank you for the five. Get the subs, by the way. And upstairs because what? you were That's getting ready for bed. Just to be clear, Sarah still has no idea how screwed she is. She just referred to an earlier statement that she didn't lock up the suitcase all the way so George could get out. Stop here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out. It's in his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this. It's also wild. It's also fucking wild that like. You know, she's just talking about this dude that she murked in such... Like, she was crying. Crying, like, 30 minutes ago. Not even 30 minutes ago. This whole thing has been 35 minutes. This is a literal world record, by the way. This is, like... This is straight up, like, speed running through this. I've never seen a... I mean, they got him dead to rice with the fucking video. But, like, she literally w was, like, crying and then so quickly flipped it to be, like... Yeah, I left it open, actually. This was the next day, brother? I'm set. Okay, but like 30 minutes into a fucking confession, okay, an interrogation, and she cried like 12 minutes in, and then 35 minutes in, she's talking about a dead person that she murdered with like no remorse whatsoever. It's like this. But why is he saying I can't breathe and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't it's, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know, like, what you want me to tell you. I'm just... I do not want to watch the video of a dying person in a suitcase. Showing you. I'm just telling you what we see and what we've heard from the other I video. I understand. I understand. He's begging to let, for you to let him out. You sound, you're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end it sounds kind of like a, no, it's not malicious. Well, saying fuck you. It's not malicious. Then what is that? My intention was not. Like, I feel like, well, I don't know what the, what the laws are around, like, uh, domestic abuse in, in whatever state that she's in. Is this Florida? It's, it's giving Florida. But... Um, if she literally said this dude abuses me and that's why I fucking concocted this plan, I feel like she'd have an easier way to get out of this than lying to the authorities and be like, no, 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 it wasn't a malicious murder. It was like a unintentional accidental murder. Like that's, that's kind of crazy. Not to leave him in there. Please understand that. My intention was not to leave him in there. This video is at 11.12 when it starts, so was he in there for like a long time prior to no. recording this? No. No. I think we've all gathered by now. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because it's premeditated. It, like, so it, I guess it technically doesn't matter because it's, it's premeditated. So I don't know if you can like actually fucking like justify, you know, Death by suffocation. Sarah might be twisting the truth in her favor a little bit. She seems to have forgotten that two minutes ago she claimed to have no recollection of this incident. So her impeccable memory all of a sudden seems rather selective. But I didn't think that he was, like, 
panicky. Like I didn't I so pushing up on a suitcase saying Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't I don't mean to sound negative and I don't know if I can say this, but like you're 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 harshing my vibes right now with this murder talk, okay? Please, I don't mean to sound negative, but like you're kind of being a little aggro by uh, pointing to the video I shot of my murdered partner as I was in the process of murdering him and you're fucking up my mellow. I finally was able to get my pack of cigarettes and smoke a couple bogues before you brought me in here. Kind of fucked up. <clears throat> like, it's like you guys are kind of trying to, like, feed me. The interesting thing about Sarah is that her intuition is correct. She sort of recognizes what the police are doing here, but still has no idea of the ramifications. Her energy resembles that of someone who feels the police are about to start rumors about her. Like, no, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how and what you said. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. My plan was not to, he'll be up here any minute. But, but you again. willingly went upstairs and went to sleep. No one forced you to go upstairs and get My pain wasn't also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because I went upstairs and then I fell asleep. But why didn't you consciously think? I feel like, did she just think this was foolproof? Like, I actually don't understand. She's like more mad about the fact that they, they're shocked and not going along with her assessment of the situation. There's video of you being like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Clearly, your plan didn't work. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Your real plan, which was to, I think, murder your partner, also didn't work and get away with it. So much about this is just like wild and out. He's asking to come out. He I didn't agree. do it intentionally. What do you think is going to happen if you leave somebody in? A confined space like that. Well, I... I'm not going to lie. I didn't even realize you could die from that. Like, this is actually news to me as well. I guess she could technically use that as a defense, but I didn't even know. I, I, I didn't know. Thought by not... That you can up. suffocate? Yeah, I know that you can suffocate, but, like, I thought, like... Okay, I thought that the briefcase is, like, not as airtight as, like, plastic bags. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't realize. Like, I, I personally thought that you could at least, like, I don't know, put your mouth up to the fucking fabric and, like, try to suck it, air out of it as best as you can. I don't know. It's a low amount of air combined with it. He's hella compressed on his lungs. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Because, like, you're... It might not be asphyxiation due to, uh, like, not getting air inside of the briefcase. But more so that his chest was compressed for too long. Right? Like, I, I think it could be... It, it's like... Uh, it's like asphy asphyxiating in a crowd, like suffocation by a crowd, kind of like that when you get like super compressed and basically it just like your chest can't expand, your lungs can't expand. Are you going to talk about Force End's 1810 record? Uh, congratulations to Force End, man. That's crazy that you have literally only come in here <laughs> to ask that since 323. There you go. Congratulations, the force and XQC is never going to beat him. I think I don't know. Fall away, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the suitcase. What was your plan? Waiting for him to come upstairs. I thought it was like I thought he was okay. Like I didn't. That you he's all telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah. I, I can't breathe. He's saying your name, and you're like, that's my name. Don't wear it out. 
guys, that's how we are with each other. The whole suitcase thing. Yeah, we, we murder each other all the time. <laughs> Officer. You don't understand. That's how we are with each other. It's just like we literally murder one another all the time. It's totally normal. Never happened before. Sarah tries to move on to another topic. <laughs> the, the murder thing has never happened, but like we attempt to murder all the time. But the interrogator doesn't allow it and brings her back to the specifics of the evidence. Again, his head is closer to us facing the video, so we should be able to see fingers. And we don't see anything. We see no movement of him trying to unzip it or physically unzipping it. All we see is pushing up, trying to push out of it. Please do not assume. I mean, you put him in, so why don't you take him out? Because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. No, before you went upstairs. You, like, consciously had to walk upstairs. Do you, I mean, you obviously remember going to bed because you were able to give me a time frame on that. Mm -hmm. And you specifically mm -hmm. told me that, that you went I upstairs. My intention is not <coughs> for this to happen. I am sick about it. She's about to... The literally hit the when you make assumptions you make an ass out of you and me technique i've never done anything like this before in the past i am sick the lead interrogator starts playing the video as sarah is mid-sentence reiterating her innocence i don't man we know you've never done anything like this in the past if you had you'd be a serial killer On a donut, it's the chocolate cinnamon roll, protein roll. No. I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape, or form. You move, you admit to moving the suitcase, like, over. So you roll it. You roll it over. Like, it's not like... I didn't want it to be like that. No. You didn't want him to be upside down? How do you even get upside down? Right. You guys are killing me right now. I don't know how, I don't know how you want me to say it. I didn't mean to leave him in there. Okay. What's your but, reasoning for um, not calling 911 sooner? Because I didn't know what to do and how horrific it was. I called Brian and like what, five minutes later I called you guys? Not even five minutes. And it was continually doing CPR <laughs> with the dispatch on the phone. So when he asked to be let out, like, what's your reasoning for not letting him out? When I was upstairs? No. It's wild that she called her ex-husband first. I mean, it's literally hitting the markers of a person who just, like, thought she fucking had... The perfect alibi, I guess. So um. when he's asking on the video, he asked multiple times. He asked to be let out. I can't breathe. What? Like, why didn't you let him out? Well, number one, I uh, number one, I had no idea it was going to end like that. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, number two, just you know what? I'll give you five minutes or so in there. That's, they'll give you five minutes or so. Five minutes for what? This was an absolutely imperative moment to allow the suspect to elaborate, but the lead interrogator cuts her off. Well, based off the video, one video is at 11.12 and the next one's at 11.23, so you actually gave him at least 11 minutes per video recording. So my, my thing is, when it stopped, he asked multiple times, I mean, why? Why did you not let him out? It's just a simple I, question. To be honest with you, I, I mean... Were you punishing him? No. <laughs> just Well, that's what you're saying in the video. Um, this is what you get. This is yep. what you make me feel like. See, and then it's all backfired on me. I will never drink alcohol again. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. She's like, come on, let me get this one. Look, let me have this. It's a mulligan. Just one murder. You know what I mean? That's how this works, guys. I don't think you understand. I don't care what it is in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I am but let's get back to this. 
when he's begging for his life, telling you he can't <laughs> breathe, let me out, and you say, fuck you, why don't you just let him out? What are you trying I to prove to him? There was obviously I, something in your head that you were thinking of when he was asking to let you, be let out, and you're like, no, Again, it's no. the boy calling wolf, and it's not fair. It is not fair. You guys what? are trying to, again... It's the boy calling wolf. It doesn't make sense. Unless you guys did the suitcase thing like multiple times. And like, what, uh, is she saying that like he called for help multiple times? Because the boy cried wolf scenario, there isn't a wolf every single time. Like, there is no, uh, uh, like, that's not how the story goes, you know what I mean? Kind of like the boy called wolf uh, scenario, you know, where there's a wolf every time and it's eating all the sheep and the boy says, wolf, wolf, and then the village don't listen to him. Oh, he's in there. Night, night. He's begging for his wife, telling you he can't breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. I didn't intentionally mean for this to happen. But well, my question is, why didn't you just let him out prior to going up? I don't know why. He's begging to be let out. He's not laughing. <laughs> He's not having fun. So are you guys, so what is it you're trying to, like, we're like, just trying to figure out why. Why? Why? What? Why? What was why? the motivation for leaving him in the bag? Why he was left in the bag? Why the I didn't him? have any motivation. It was... Me. Why does she think she's like talking to the manager at Target? Like, I actually don't understand this. She's saying that she was abused several times and him calling for air is somehow him knowing what's going to happen and getting revenge. Abusers will typically still think the person they abused to death was bad. And they are worse than the act of murder itself. Okay, but like there's something off about her in like a really weird way. Like she, I mean, I know the title is Sarah literally thinks she's going home later, dot, dot, dot. But it's the perfect title in, in many ways because she has such a careless attitude. Like, like it, I've, we've watched a bunch of, we have watched a bunch of videos, sometimes of psychopaths, right? And the way they talk to, the way they talk to cops, especially when they're like recreating the scene of their crime or whatever. And oftentimes, the only time they emote is when they're going through the steps because they're like recreating the crime. And they think, uh, they get very excited it's like almost a sexual gratification that they're getting, right? She, on the other hand, is just like annoyed. Like it feels as though the detectives are just like wasting her time. And she's like, I'm going to get away with this. Like, I, or, like, why the fuck are you bothering me? I just did one murder. Like, I'll stop drinking alcohol. God, geez. Like, that's kind of, it's kind of like that. I don't know what is going on. He and I having a great day, fooling around and being stupid. You know, that's a good analogy for the day, excluding the fact that he's got uh, a, a bump on the back of his head, a bump on the front of his head, and his lip is busted, and he has a oh bump on his eye. I, mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you. Like, this is not fair that you all are assuming that that's from me. Where else did it come from? If you were to say it's opposite. She says it's not fair. Yo, you filmed your partner in a suitcase while you were saying, fuck you. That's literally not a leap at all. Like, that's just... Like, he died. You killed him. In what seems like premeditated murder. How would that be a leap?
It's like, wow, you guys are being really harsh. You guys are being real weird about this whole, like, this, my partner died after I stuffed him in a suitcase situation. That you were in the suitcase and you're asking to be let out. Should they not let you out? Yeah, this is actually a good take. It kind of sounds like she feels she hatched a good plan to escape and now it's not fair that these cops are standing in her way. I know what type of mind, I don't know what type of mind things like that. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like she's like upset that they're like picking holes in her brilliant plan. To tell you, like, this is not fair that you all are assuming that that's from me. Where else did it come if from? If you were, say it's opposite, you were in the suitcase and you're asking to be let out, should they not let you out? Eventually. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't, I'm blaming it on the wine. <laughs> blaming it on the wine? Bro, I, I'm sorry. I've literally never seen a perfect textbook definitional representation of like Karen energy. Okay, I, I like this is incredible. She's like, it's just the we know. You know how it goes. Me and Franzia, we don't get along. It's like, what the fuck are you saying? Someone died because of actions that you took. Like how many, how many times has she gotten away with doing like unhinged shit? Like I, I wow, the the carelessness, the callousness in which she's like describing the the situation and like supposedly defending, defending, defending herself is is incredible. After talking to you, everything was laughing and fun. Now we're watching a video where it's not laughing and fun. He's begging for his life. And you are in a very angry voice telling him to fuck off. No. It's not fair that you guys keep trying to say that that's what I did. And if he could push it open, why wouldn't he have gotten out himself? Why would he beg you to open it? Okay. I tell you he can't breathe. Okay. If I, someone I, can I, do something for themselves, they're going to do it. They don't need assistance. You two didn't lay <laughs> hands on each other. No. <laughs> no. I don't have anything. You're right. You're telling us that we're assuming stuff, but what we're simply doing is telling you what we saw in the video and repeating what you told us. I understand. Because I don't remember that. Okay. Doesn't mean it didn't happen just because you don't remember it. Sarah now gets freaked out by the male detective. She thinks he's texting. <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah. Soon. Agree to disagree. Yeah. I feel like I feel like she's holding on to that one. Like that's that's her trump card, you know what I mean? Like Ultimately, she's going to pull that one out and just start walking. She's going to get up and walk away before they have to tackle her. She's going to be like, ah, well, I guess agree to disagree, fellas. Am I right? You know she's cooking that. She's sitting on that right now. She's like, oh, I can't wait until I blow that one. I can't wait until I bust that card out. You know I'm getting away scot-free. It's like debating train. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to bust out the Google definition of murder real quick for her to understand what's going on here. And even then she's going to be like, well, agree to disagree. Think someone about her, which creates an absurd yet hilarious moment. So is the texting thing something about me? Like what's... What? The what? Texting? Oh, no, I'm texting. No, so, I... I, I have one last question. I just, I mean, you, you realize you're the person that killed him, right? I thought about that. Okay, you left him in a bag when he's begging you, saying, I can't breathe, let me out, and you said, fuck you. Not I. Intentionally. You got up, and you went up to bed. You all? Please sit down. Listen to me. I did not... Not. Okay, I was joking when I said, I think she's going to get up. I did not realize that, like, she literally thought that, like, this is something. Wow. No, she thought, that's it. She's like, all right, have a good day, sir and ma'am. All right, see you later. I told y'all I'm not going to drink again, so we're good. Intentionally kill him. I got you on video screaming, fuck you. 
This is what it feels like when you're choking me. There's still feelings towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. And then you flip the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? No. Why would I do that? Well, you told There's video you evidence, it. and you told him. And he was upside down. Right. Well, you had to put him upside get, down. You can't get in a suitcase upside down yeah. because... It had to be on its back with the lid open for him to get in there for you to zip it up. Then it shows it on the other side with him in it, so you had to flip it to there. Then there's another video where it's on his back again, so you had to flip it there. I'm leaving it like this, please. I'm leaving it like this. I did not intend... You're not leaving anything. What do you mean? You're... What are you leaving? <laughs> You're not leaving the conversation. Like... What do you mean? <laughs> I'm leaving this conversation. You cannot hold me here any longer. I said I'm leaving. Okay. I I, I don't know if like she doesn't realize that what she did is illegal. Like, I don't know. Like she probably did she like Google this or something? This is she a sovereign citizen? Are you detaining me? Are you detaining me? Hasabi clearly never dealt with a full-blown narcissist. It's just so odd. Like, this is delusional. I mean, this is like... ...do this. You left him in there. You're trying to oh dance around the fire. She them. wants to get up. Not, I, 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 you didn't leave him in not, there? It's not cool. Like, this is not cool. It's not cool. You intentionally left him in there and left the room. You went upstairs to a At some point, the detective's got to be like, you know this is a murder investigation, right? Like, yeah, I know it's not cool because you're probably going to go to prison. Like, like, we have you in here. This is an interrogation. We have you in here because you did a murder on camera you like we read you your fucking miranda rights what do you think that was about that's insane she was clearly blackout and doesn't even believe she did this but like the video okay she might have been blacked out drunk okay that's that's one thing but what you're failing to recognize here is that even if she was blacked out drunk, once that video is shown to her, she should at least under the, understand the severity of the situation at hand. What I mean by that is she should have exercised literally like just a minuscule crumb of self-awareness. Okay? I don't know if she was fucking drunk or not in the video. I don't know what the fuck's going on. What I'm simply stating is that she's sober now and she should recognize that she is being interrogated for a murder that she did and they have her dead to rights. Like, at a certain point, it's got to click, right? And it hasn't clicked in an hour and eight minutes. I would do anything for him. Well, you gave up checking up on him. So. I wouldn't let him out of a suitcase. Oh, gosh. Anybody look at it, it doesn't, I don't think anybody no. will look at that video and go, George is having fun right now. The discourse repeats itself a few more times, and then Sarah brings out her list of questions. So, am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. Not today. How do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? What? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually. And no, it'll, then be, it'll be released to the... Uh, <laughs> Looting him already? What the fuck? Bro. Bro. She's treating him like a video game NPC, bro. No, that's like... He, he can't use it. He's dead. Can I get it back, please? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I bought it. Uh, officers... You don't understand. That's a PVP. That's a clean kill. Okay? That's my loot. Do not do not steal my loot, please. That's mine. I bought it. And also, I killed him fair and square, please. That's why. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger. It goes to them. 
They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. So what's next? They're going to come and swab your fingers. No, I'm talking about like in the long run. Like what do I need to like, do I need to be doing something or like? I can't tell you like, what to do. I mean like so like for, like I don't understand. Like I don't Okay, even the cops are being weird. Like tell her she's going to prison. Okay. Like we are arresting you. This is like, have you never watched a movie? Any movie. Like literally, on accident, you must have seen the scene where they go, and now we're putting handcuffs on you. You are under arrest for the murder of, you know, uh, so and so. Like that's this is the part of the movie that where that happens, right? Not yet. That changes the game. Like I, I, I don't understand. Like, are they farming her? Like, what the fuck's happening at this point? I don't know if you guys are just gonna like. I'm not admitting anything about being intentional, and I like. We told you everything that we have. You know everything that we know. So after this, what? Like, she's asking. She's clearly asking. Like, can I go home now? Like, I'm bored. Like, that's that's what this is. Okay, very clearly. Can I go home now? Is what. She's saying without actually saying those words. And they're just letting her, I don't know, they're just like stringing her along. The interrogation's over. She's not giving more information. Uh, they, they already ulted in like the first 10 minutes and I've never seen someone straight up look at the smoking gun evidence and go, yeah, actually, that's not how things uh, work here. I'm, I'm, leaving. I'm leaving this interrogation a free man. I'm done. In itself, for me to have to live with getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Mm -hmm. His daughter's too. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Making, making CSI, that was there yesterday. Forensics take her DNA and fingerprints. The investigators then return. Okay, Sarah. So, you're not free to go. Okay. This comment seriously puts Sarah on edge, but she still won't quite be fully aware of what's happening. This is coupled with the fact the investigators now try to get a solemn declaration out of her to close out the interrogation. The psychological dynamics of the moment are extraordinary. Wait, what did I miss? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Uh, just making, just CSI, that was there yesterday. Forensics take her DNA and fingerprints. The investigators then return. Okay, Sarah. Furthermore, what, what do you mean? You all? Please sit down. Let's oh, she did! <laughs> I did not. Not intentionally kill him i got you on video she said i did not not the, the double negative okay what what did i miss suitcase upside there's a different room i would do anything for him well you gave up checking up on him so. i wouldn't let him out of the suitcase oh gosh anybody look at it does i don't think anybody so, would look at that video and go george is having fun right now the discourse repeats itself a few more times and then sarah brings out her list of questions so Am I getting my life? We saw all this shit. What I did is punishment enough. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's no, they let you do that in Norway. That's that's how that works, I think. That's like I'm in favor of, I'm in favor of rehabilitative justice, right? Like I, I believe in uh, rehabilitation over incarceration. I think that like, you know, we should, we should have like way, uh, way more humane conditions for prisoners. That's not what I mean, though. I know that that's what conservatives think I mean when I say that. Like, just let him go. Okay. 
uh, that's not what I'm talking about when I say that. Like, you should still do a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Like, you should still, you know, that's that's sick. He's like, I, I feel bad about it. Can I go now? It's uh, the fact that I feel bad is enough. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Mm -hmm. His daughters too. Are you trying to make it worse? Hey, dickhead, I've learned my lesson. I will not do a murder again. God, stop. Why are you bringing up my dead partners, my, my murder victims' daughters? That's, what's up? That's just, un, you know, that's, that's ungentlemanlike, un, unsportsmanlike conduct, okay? What you're doing is fucked up. Significantly worse than murder, honestly. Sorry, what? <laughs> Even he's like, what are you saying? Word. Uh, he got owned though. Look, this is this is why I say like white women, okay, are literally they have like a passive debuff. Like he backed away. Do you notice that? Like he literally he didn't just double down and go, you just did a murder. What the fuck are you talking about? And instead went, uh, just making a comment, uh, CSI, that was uh, serious. sorry. Like he, he, she just fucking ripped them, dude. She's so, that, that's a repost right there. She's so effectively, she so effectively countered the whole like murder thing. Like he, he's like, maybe put the flashbacks on me, please. I'm maybe put the, not flashbacks. Sorry. Maybe put the handcuffs on me, ma'am. <laughs> Take me to fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? I fucked it up. Real fucked up. I fucked up big time. Sorry about that. Forensics take her DNA and fingerprints. The investigators then return. Okay, Sarah. So, you're not free to go. Okay. This comment seriously put Sarah on edge, but she still won't quite be fully aware of what's happening. This is coupled with the fact the investigators now try to get a solemn declaration out of her to close out the interrogation. The psychological dynamics of the moment are extraordinary. Oh, do you promise everything you told us is the truth? Or no? <clears throat> everything we've talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? The investigator explains that it's just pro- Brings race into everything, huh? Hassan, you kind of speaking garbage today. You usually have good taste, but you're just saying what your chat wants to hear at the moment. Drinking in public is illegal, yes. I feel like- I feel like some chatters have like a, they have like a, like a discord server or something. They're like, quick, Hassan's talking about white people. Like, let's get in and, and be upset at him. Protocol. Do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? That's how you to somebody. The male detective re-explains that it's just routine, only in a far more comforting tone. But the tone doesn't do a whole lot to reassure Sarah. She looks about ready to get swallowed up by a wormhole and take her chances in a separate dimension. So that's your question. To the best of my knowledge? To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right, do me a favor. Stand up. I need you to turn around face the wall. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? No. Why is this happening? Because George is dead. Not intentionally. So this was a trick. You were read your right. Why Are is this trying? happening? Because what? Before y'all said I could leave. So what am I supposed to do now? I don't... I had I don't Bro, he has nothing. Yo, leave the room. Let the female detective cook. You have nothing, bro. He's literally about to uncuff her. I swear to God. Just say, just say the line, man. Sarah, you are under, you are under arrest for the murder of uh, the, the, the victim. I forget his name. Like, what are you doing?
I don't understand. Like, she's like, so what's up? What's next? And he's like, oh, I don't really know. Fuck. Uh, this never happens. I think it's suspicion that this is going to happen. And I need water, like, really bad, please. How Yeah. Check me down <coughs> An officer comes to take Sarah to the jail, but Sarah has questions first. Um, those holding cells, the holding cells, mm -hmm. am I going to be put in one of those? I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. Okay. Let them know that. Yeah. I don't know. Go ahead, Shanda. I have not so what am I going to do with my purse? What made you all decide to do this? Made us decide to do this? Uh-huh. George is dead. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Sarah was taken to the Orange County Jail at 5.44 p.m. She was charged with second-degree murder. If anything, she definitely did not think that that was going to happen. Like, she definitely did not. She's either the best actress I've ever seen, like, this is like some Meryl Streep on steroids shit, or she just has to always be in the right. Like, she has to fake that she's like, completely aware of what's going on because I'm pretty sure she did not know. Uh-huh. George is dead. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Sarah was taken to the Orange County Jail at 5.44 p.m. She was charged with second-degree murder and held without bond, which keep in mind was in late February of 2020, just before the entire planet went into lockdown due to a pandemic. So Sarah must have had a real fun time getting acclimated to the new environment. She's been in the county jail since, with a trial date set for April 10th of this year. She's currently working with her seventh attorney. Six have already filed motions to get the fuck out of there, and oh. all of them cited the same reason which was irreconcilable differences. That's wild. Bro, six attorneys? She ripped six attorneys. She's on her seventh. Yo, that's incredible, dog. I've never seen someone... Okay, okay. Low-key, straight up, no joke. Her vibes are so bad that, like... Like, it's, it's almost impressive. Like, I've never seen such, like, criminal vibes. You know what I mean? Like, abysmal. Abysmal. Vibes so bad, you're, like, the judge is probably going to give you extra fucking days in prison. Like, she is really getting, in her own way, in every way, shape, and form. Like, you got, lawyers are demons for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, a... Like, they're not great. The fact that... The fact that you have, like, owned six of them? Holy fuck. This is me when you bring race into something. <laughs> I had a sneaky suspicion this was going to happen. Her seventh attorney is also apparently motioned to be removed from 